Hey everyone, Girl Meets Pixels here and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a speed build slash speed decorate video. I seriously am so dang excited to show you guys this video because I, I've been working on this for way too long. Seriously, I've been working on this since I think about like May, maybe possibly June. But like <laughs> it's August now if you're watching this in real time and oh my gosh, how did we get here? <laughs> Why did it take me freaking two to three months? I don't know. I have no clue, but I'm seriously so excited to be sharing this with you all today. It is a bit of a longer video, so make sure to go get some snacks. If you need to pause the video, do so. Go get a snack, go get a drink, get on cozy, grab a blanket while you're at it, right? Why not? <laughs> uh, but yes, it is a longer video. I actually did ask you guys on my community tab page a few months ago when I was starting this video or trying to record this video. Uh, I asked you guys if you would be interested in split up videos. So one part is the building and then the other part is the decorating, or if you would prefer for it to all just be smushed into one video. Most of you voted for smushed into one video. So here we are. I'm testing this out with this kind of smushing it all. <laughs> it's a lot of content. I had to edit down a lot and um, I did cut out quite a bit of not content. It was just kind of like filler stuff. So I did edit it quite a bit. Uh, so I don't know if I'll stick with this or I mean, you would let me know down below if you would prefer something like this or if you would prefer me to, you know, split it up into different parts and have two different videos with two different kind of topics going on for the same build. I don't know. I'm open to different ways and different ideas. So definitely let me know down below. Anyways, this house, like I said, I've been working on for forever. Like it's kind of ridiculous how long it's taken me. I seriously love how it turned out though. Uh, I am not, I wouldn't really call myself a builder. I feel like I can manage, I can decently build <laughs> in The Sims. And The Sims 3 is definitely where I'm like the best at compared to other Sims games. But I just, I don't call myself a builder. I really, I have to have a floor plan. I have to have it either sketched out in front of me or like a floor plan that someone else has created and this is kind of this is based off a of floor plan so it will be linked down below in the description uh and it kind of altered it a little bit and made it to what i needed it to be more for me and my sim and her story so i did change it up a bit but uh, it is based off a of floor plan so it will be linked down in the description i also uh like to use pinterest a lot so i will link that down for you all as well um i use pinterest for more so for decorating uh, but I did use it for building this time for like the exterior and it was so dang helpful. So if you want to follow me over on Pinterest to kind of see, you actually get a little bit of like sneak peek previews at speed builds and decorating stuff, but um, you guys can head on to over there if you want to. Anyways, this house is for my Sim, uh, Coletta Emery and her little family. And we have played her story quite a bit over on Twitch. I live stream on Twitch a few times a week and she recently had twins. She is engaged to be married. Uh, and so I wanted to build them a new house. Their house is completely cramped. Um, it's a one bedroom house. So <laughs> they have twins, they have three dogs and her mom is going to come and live with her. So they needed more room. So they'll be moving into this house very, very soon. There probably will be a current household video on her pretty soon as well. So you can look forward to that. Uh, so I just wanted to have this house all put together before releasing that. Uh, but yeah, so this house, I went with a modern style. I'm not, like I said at the beginning, I am, I don't classify myself as a builder. It's just not who I am. <laughs> but when it comes to building, I find that modern housing is like super difficult for me. Why? I have no clue. I don't know if it's just because it's such like big spacing or I have to use constrained floor elevation or what. I just have a hard time building modern floor plans. So the fact that I even wanted to do this was kind of crazy, kind of not in the normal for me. I tend to go more for craftsmen, traditional uh, family style homes. Uh, and going with like a modern house build was very different, but I actually have to say, I'm kind of impressed with myself. Is that weird? Is that weird to say? I feel like it is, but I'm pretty impressed with myself. <laughs> the fact that I completed this, the fact that I built it, the fact that it actually turned out almost exactly how I saw it in my head is 
amazing. Like, I don't know how this happened, but it happened. Like, good job, past Brittany, because <laughs> it was tough. So I think that's why it did take me so long is because I've never really built a house of this style before. I think the last time I built a modern house was for one of my current household families, like way back in the day. Um, I'll see if I can link the video down in the description. Uh, I know it was for my Cooper family. Uh, it was a current household. I didn't do a speed build on it, but that, I think that was the last modern house I built. So <laughs> if you guys want to go back and see maybe how I've progressed, I don't even remember what the house fully looks like. I just vaguely remember them living in Lucky Palms and all that good stuff. But yeah, I'll link that in the description for you all as well. Uh, so yeah, anyways, so as you can see, we have made quite a bit of progress on this house. It's not like an overly, like it's not a mansion. It's definitely not a mansion. It's not a giant house. It's just exactly the right size that they need. It's definitely an upgrade from where they're living at right now. Uh, but it definitely is still kind of cozy. It has that cozy vibe to it. I just, I didn't want it to be completely huge and open. They do kind of actually have a budget. I don't even know yet if I've stuck to that budget. <laughs> we will find out later on, uh, probably in the current household that I'll film for you guys. But yeah, the house is just perfect. It's the perfect size. It's the perfect kind of not starter home, but to, for them to start their family in, they have, like I said, twins and, uh, and her mom is going to be coming to live with them to kind of help her transition into motherhood and take care of the twins with her. I mean, twins for your first, like it, it's a handful <laughs> twins are a handful. So, um, that's kind of the storyline I have going on for them. So, um, there is actually three bedrooms. It's a three bedroom house. There is a master bedroom, uh, which is for my Sim and her fiance slash going to be husband. And then there's two other bedrooms that are almost the exact same size, I think. So I made one of them a nursery. And then the other one is kind of like a mother in law, not sweet, but just a room and a bathroom. So a little bit more privacy for her. So I'm really excited about it. It just, everything fit perfectly onto the size lot. Like I didn't even have to change lot sizes. That normally happens to me. I normally put my Sims houses on like either too big or too small. And then I'm like, crap, like I need to change this. <sighs> Struggling with building is just so frustrating, right? <laughs> it's a challenge. It's a challenge, but like I said, I really love how this turned out. Uh, as you can see, I'm doing a very desert landscape. They live in the world of Mesa Grand, and I'll have that link down below in the description as well. Uh, and it's a beautiful world. Oh my goodness. I've been playing in this world now for quite a while with this family, and it is gorgeous. It is base game compatible. Like what? Yes, base game compatible. It is populated. Yes, that is right. Populated. How does that even happen? <laughs> it's so hard to find populated worlds uh, in The Sims 3. So it is populated and uh, like I said, base game compatible, but they also even have for all expansion packs, they have add-ons that you can download for the different community lots to add into the town. They're so, seriously such an amazing creator and I don't fully remember their name offhand, but I will, like I said, have it linked in the description for you. So being that they are in like a desert kind of biome, I wanted to go with the modern style. I wanted to go with the more modern desert landscaping, you know, nothing. They don't have like a bunch of grass everywhere and they don't have a bunch of everything everywhere. <laughs> I don't know why I needed to say that, but yeah, uh, it's just not like a lot of trees and stuff. So yeah, I really love it. And they also have this beautiful, beautiful view of, I think it's a lake. I don't think it's a river. I'm pretty sure it's a lake. Uh, so they have a beautiful, beautiful view and it's just a really, really great world. Uh, so I definitely, definitely recommend it or at least check it out. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, we're still on the outside. We haven't even made our way in. Oh, and here we go. Look at that. Look at that. We're making our way on inside. So I did the floor plan exactly how it had been on the floor plan I was following. Uh, and then I went back in and changed it up a bit. I made the bathroom smaller. I didn't like how they were so narrow and long. I'm like, I do not need this giant of bathrooms. It just makes no sense. So I added in kind of like little cubby areas right there that transitions into the hallway. And so um, that's gonna be like the laundry room and um, then like an extra storage unit kind of thing. You guys will see that later on. 
But right now, we are starting off in the living room. I kind of, I typically, like, okay, when I build, I typically start off in the kitchen. That's just kind of my go-to. I usually know what I want to do. It's just so easy for me. It's just like a really good starting off point for me personally. Um, but this time around, I was like, no, like I, the space is so giant. I need to figure out the living room and then like the dining area first because like, I don't know how I'm going to fit all this stuff. Like I knew how I was going to fit stuff in. Um, but I was worried that it was going to be too spacious. Like I didn't want everything to look weird. Does that make sense? <laughs> I just didn't want everything to be super far apart and to, I want to have that cozy factor still there. So here we are, <laughs> me trying to figure it out. I did try to recolor stuff as I went along. Um, and I did cut out a good portion of me recoloring stuff, uh, just because it takes me literally forever, literally forever to recolor things and decide on patterns and textures and all that good stuff. So I know some people really enjoy watching that. For me personally, I don't fully enjoy it. Um, and I don't enjoy watching myself back on trying to figure out me trying to figure out like colors and stuff. So that's why I didn't include it. Um, so you'll see like a little bit along the way, of, like little snippets of me recoloring like you just saw in the living room, but that's honestly about it. Um, I'm not going to do too much of it. So I apologize if that's something you really enjoy. I just hate it. I just hate watching myself flip through 20 million options. <laughs> I'm too indecisive. I'm just way too indecisive. Um, so yeah, now we are here in the entryway and they actually have like a pretty decent, like actual entryway. My Sims don't typically have these. It's usually just kind of like a hallway that just basically is into the living room or the living space or whatever it is. So to actually have like a little entryway was kind of fun to have and decorate. Um, I know it's kind of not useful in the Sims, but it's realistic. And I liked having that realistic, um, a realistic touch there, I guess. Um, so yeah, so they have their cactus because of course they live in the desert. You need a cactus. <laughs> um, although they do have kids, so it probably isn't like the safest option, but it's okay. It's okay, right? Um, and then now we are here into the kitchen and the kitchen seems kind of small when you look at it like this, but I honestly fit so many different kinds of like appliances into here that I'm like, dang, <laughs> it's a nice size kitchen. Um, I use these beautiful, beautiful, uh, cabinets and counters from awesomes. I love their stuff. Their custom content is amazing and they are a creator that doesn't post anymore and their stuff is a little tough to find on the internet. Uh, but I had recently downloaded something of theirs, like a pack of all of this custom content of theirs. Um, I think a few months back. So I've been using a bunch of their content lately and ew, it's just beautiful. Like those cabinets and those counters are just perfection, perfection. Um, so yeah, so I even was able, I was even able to fit in uh, bar stools, like a little sitting at the counter area or the peninsula area. And like I said, like, I just was so surprised about how much I was able to fit into this little kitchen. Um, oh, and that pendant light with the three like light bulbs hanging down. That's also by awesomes. Seriously, like their content is just amazing. If you guys can just Google search them and find their downloads, I definitely, definitely recommend it because it is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, and then I also did open shelving. A lot of you that have followed me for a while know that in my Sims kitchens, I oftentimes will do a lot of open shelving. I just feel like it opens up the space. It doesn't clutter it too much. And it just adds like a touch of personality in a way. Uh, you can kind of show off your Sims personalities and the things and objects that they would use in their kitchen is uh, kind of, is going to be different for each Sim. So that's what I did. And I have a little coffee machine, of course. <laughs> they are taking two, care of two uh, kids, you know, twins. So they need that coffee, need that energy. Um, and yeah, so this is basically the layout of the kitchen. I obviously will go back in and recolor all of it and all that good stuff. And I can't remember, I think I cut out a majority of it for um, this video, but I, <laughs> I don't remember. I don't fully remember. I have my own mom brain. I have two young kids um, under the age of 
uh, well, no, under the age of four. We're going to be under the age of four or three. No, three. <laughs> I don't know the ages of my kids. Oh, my goodness. I think I need some sleep. Um, but, yeah, so I'm like, <laughs> I can barely, you know, function without my caffeine, too. So I get it. I sympathize for my Sims. So as you guys can see in that jump cut, we now have the colors of the kitchen. And, oh, I just love it. It's kind of, in a way, not 100% like my dream kitchen. Um, but to have, like, the cement countertops with, um, or I guess they're concrete, huh? Concrete countertops with, like, the wood uh, cabinets. Oh, my goodness. That would be, like the dream the actual dream um and then we also did a pop of color for the the shelves i did think about doing kind of like a reclaimed wood look it's one of my favorite ways to like add that in because i love reclaimed wood uh but i figured for this space i was like oh we need some color in here uh i prefer my neutrals <laughs> a lot of you make fun of me for sticking with my neutrals but I have been trying to add color in, okay? As you guys will see, the kids room, um, or like the nursery room, I added lots of color. So <laughs> I made up for it, I promise, I made up for it. Uh, but yeah, and then like I said, they also have three dogs. So I did have to fit in like pet beds. I added in like a little food area for them to eat at. Um, but yeah, they have three dogs and two kids. I'm like, their, their household is already so chaotic and I haven't really been playing them that long <laughs> so I don't know how that happened I don't know how we got here um so as you can see now I'm just kind of adding in paint colors and stuff and trying to get my layouts for each of the rooms so this room to the left is going to be I'm calling it like the little the little mother-in-law suite uh but it's not a suite because it's literally just a bedroom and a bathroom but it works it works so um, if you guys watched my last current household video we did uh, or I shared on the Emery family and Stella Emery oh my little baby Stella um, her husband Harry passed away RIP uh, and she was living with her two youngest kids um, who are actually young adults and they're going to college and all that good stuff you guys can go check out the video of course um, and so she actually is going to be moving and she's moving in with her daughter Coletta and gonna be helping to take care of the twins and just helping her become that transition into a mother, basically. Uh, so I did want to incorporate that and it actually wasn't my idea. Uh, I can't remember who gave me the idea, but I know it was back on um, a live stream on Twitch and someone was like, oh my gosh, you should have Stella go move in with Coletta and her family. And I was like, oh, I love that idea. Seriously, love that idea. So that's what I decided to do. And so when I saw this floor plan and everything, I was like, this is just like the perfect space. This is the perfect time. Everything just is gonna work out perfectly. So yeah. And then as you guys can see to the right there, uh, that's the nursery. Basically it's just a room for the kids to sleep in. And then I have this really, really cute playroom area here in like this, it's kind of almost like a hallway open room space. <laughs> But I knew when I saw the floor plan, when I was trying to find something, I was like, oh, this would be perfect for a playroom. Um, I actually originally, originally was going to make it like a little TV area, but um, Coletta is like a very eco-friendly kind of sim and they don't have that many electronics in their house. So they do have that, that stereo there for music, for music time for the kids, but they don't have a TV in their home. Um, they don't really have any electronics. They don't have a computer. So it's uh, a little bit more of like, uh, I don't know what to call it. Kind of like a natural living lifestyle or whatever. Um, so yeah, so I was like, no, a TV room does not make sense, but we should do a play area. And me, like personally as a mom, to have like a play area like this that I could decorate would be amazing. Like it'd be so fun. And I think with like kids spaces, you can make them so fun and so much more different than adult living spaces, which sounds kind of sad. I mean, you can make your living space however you want it to be. Uh, but me personally, I'm not a huge color fan. I love my neutrals, like I said. Uh, but for my kids spaces, I love to add in like those more fun pops of color that I normally wouldn't do both in real life and also in the Sims. So as you can see, <laughs> as we're talking about it, I added in that really, really colorful rug into the, the nursery. And then I layered, as you can see in this uh, build, I layered rugs a lot. Uh, I just have really been into layering rugs. And so I did that quite a bit. <laughs> so I apologize for all the millions of rugs in this house, but they're cute. They're cute, right? 
Um, so as you can see here, we're actually back into the living space. I was trying to figure out that really empty gap between the entryway and then also the living space. I just did not know how to fill that in. Um, it just, as you can see, it looks so awkward. So I just didn't know what to do. And then I go in, I'm like, oh, a bookcase. We need a bookcase. And I I find the most perfect, the most perfect bookcase. <laughs> and then I come up with this idea of like layering them and putting them back to back. And I'm just like, yes, this is the division or the division, the divider that we needed. Uh, and so I put it like a little column there. I tried to mess around with different ideas with it, but it ends up looking like that. And I love it. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Even watching this back, I'm like, oh yes, this is so good. I love it. I love it so much. And it's just perfect. It's just so perfect. I love how it has books on top. So it looks kind of messy. So it's lived in, you know, it's lived in. Um, I actually didn't go back in to add like more decorations on top with OMSP, uh, which is a tool that you can use to uh, raise or lower items uh, or make them bigger or smaller uh, and put them onto different places that typically the game doesn't allow you to place items. So it would be really cool if I eventually go back in and add some really cool like, um, Oh, I don't even know. Maybe just some collectibles or stuff that they find, or maybe if they go on some trips or something and put them on top of the bookshelf as like decoration, I think it'd be really cute. So maybe in the future, maybe in the future I'll do, I'll do that. Uh, so here we are now in the master bedroom. Like I said, the house is like the right size. It's just the perfect size. Everyone has enough space, but it's like not too giant that your Sims like take forever to get across the house in, you know? which can sometimes be a problem in The Sims 3. Uh, but this master bedroom is like the perfect mix of space, like it's enough room, but also it feels so cozy. Uh, I did some really, really fun accents on like the side tables and like their dresser. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to show you their dresser. <laughs> it's super, super cute. And I just really love how it turned out. So um, I definitely went with a very, uh, more like natural modern theme. I don't know if that's a thing. I'm kind of making that up right now. Um, but it's very like natural elements, a lot of wood, raw wood, uh, rocks and stones and neutral earth tone kind of colors. And then I mixed it with like these more contemporary mid-century modern elements. And I just, I just love it. It's kind of like really my style. <laughs> um, and I just, I have that, I want that cozy factor, you know, in real life. I want everything to seem open and bright and cozy at the same time. And so I decorate like that a lot in The Sims because that's what I want in real life, you know? I mean, that's what The Sims is in a way. It's just me living out my dream, <laughs> my dream life. i uh, also adding in drama and stuff that I don't have in my day-to-day -day life, right? Um, but yeah, so right here, this little console table, I actually don't think it counts as a dresser, but to me, it's not a big deal if my Sims have a dresser or not, but I'm pretending it's a dresser. And then I added like these candles and like the little, um, light bulb lamp thing. And I just, I love it. I love it so much. That rug too, in the master bedroom, I would have that rug in real life. I legit would have that rug in real life. <laughs> so I just love it. Um, and like I, as you can see again, I'm recoloring, but this isn't exactly how it's going to stay. Obviously the bed's not going to stay the red color and stuff. So at the very end, we will be doing a walkthrough and um, I'll show you guys the house in real time and we can check it out and you can see how I basically recolored everything and hopefully you'll like it. <laughs> hopefully you'll like it. Uh, this house will be available for download since I did build it. I have no problem uploading it. I will do an empty one. So it's just the shell of the house and you guys can decorate it how you want to. And then I also will, I debated on this cause I didn't know if I was going to or not. I will upload, um, a decorated version. Oh goodness. It's gonna be so much custom content. So I apologize. I loaded this house with custom content. I will try and make a list of all the items used. Uh, so that way you can go and find them. Oh, or if, um, they're missing or, um, to also give credit to the creator as well. Uh, so yeah, I know that sometimes downloading decorated houses into your game can just be really messy. I personally don't prefer it. I prefer just shells if I download anything and then I decorate it. But I know some of you don't like decorating. So if you like it enough and you want it in your game, uh, I, will make it available for you. <laughs> so hopefully you'll like it, hopefully. Uh, so as you can see now, instead of putting a closet, this was supposed to be like a huge walk-in master closet. 
in The Sims it obviously is not necessary. You don't really need a walk-in closet. It's just kind of pointless. Uh, but the floor plan called for that, you know? So I decided to make this Coletta's art studio. So she is a self-employed painter. And so this was like the perfect space out of the master bedroom for her to have like this cozy, chill, like work studio. And then I used from Awesomes, they have this really cool industrial shelving and I just layered it with paint supplies, cleaning supplies for the paint. And then, you know, actual paintings that maybe we can pretend that she's done. And then also some plants. I also even add in like a little radio so she can like put on some music and listen to it while she works. I just think it's so amazing. Like if I was a painter, I would want a studio like this. Like it's just perfect. <laughs> it's just so cute. So I really, really love how it turned out. And there I am like layering the rugs again. I just am now real realizing that I put in so many rugs and I layered so many of them. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. So I apologize, but you can get rid of them. You can get rid of them if you guys download it. Oh, and then I also added in a, a pet bed and then like a little stool and stuff for the kids to sit at or, you know, the pet bed for the pets. Like I said, they have three dogs, which is just crazy. So <laughs> yeah. And then now we're into the master bathroom and um, it's just a master bathroom. It's just pretty simple. They have a double vanity, um, a really nice walk-in shower. And then I actually didn't do a tub. I oftentimes like to give my master bathrooms tubs. I didn't. Um, I just did a toilet and a shower kept it simple. It's not a huge space, uh, but it's enough. It's just perfectly enough. Uh, and I love it. And I also, I do show how, um, Stella's bathroom comes together, but I, I don't show the kid's bathroom. Um, or at least I don't think I do. <laughs> I could be completely wrong. Um, uh, but I don't think I do just because who wants to see me decorate three bathrooms over and over? I did do different styles in them, which I don't always do. Sometimes I get kind of lazy and I just decorate them all the same, like a uh, color palette and like maybe add in a few different things. Uh, but this time around, I actually made it where all three bathrooms are different styles. So <laughs> kudos to Brittany, kudos to past Brittany, right? And then we hop back into the nursery, add in some accents. I, oh, I love this nursery. It's a lot more color than I typically do. Oh, classic Brittany. <laughs> um, I actually really, really like it. I, I like it a lot. I layer the rugs, of course, of course. Uh, but I did this really, really gorgeous deep blue rug. I originally was gonna do this one, which is pretty bold. Um, but I do like this blue, yeah, that one. And then I layer a really cute little round colored rug. And I'm just like, oh, this is like the cutest, like fun, modern, slightly vintage vibe nursery. Like it's just so cute, so simple. Um, and as the kids get older, I mean, Stella will eventually pass away. And so then there'll be two bedrooms for, you know, each of the twins. So the twins can split off and have their own bedroom, which will be nice. And so I definitely see that like the family living in this house for a really long time, uh, which at least was my goal. And I don't know. I mean, I could probably expand it if I wanted to. I could probably add an upstairs if I eventually want to. It's big enough. The lot is big enough. I can change things up. So I really, really just love how this house turned out. I really do. Um, and then also from Awesomes is that rocking chair, which is so cute. Like I would have that in real life. And then also the changing pad. Um, they separated the changing pad from the store one from the Sims 3 store. They actually made it so you can put it on any kind of dresser uh, and your Sims can change the baby on any dresser. So I seriously love that. Or at least I think it works. <laughs> now I'm trying to think back to if I've actually used it or I've just assumed that your Sims can use it. I think it works. I think it actually works, <laughs> but I'm not sure now. Um, but yeah, so you can put it on top of any dresser and make it, you know, a different looking changing table than just the Sims 3 store one. So I really, really have been enjoying that piece of custom content a lot lately. Uh, and then now we move into the outside. So I knew that they were going to entertain a lot. Uh, Coletta's husband, or well, I guess he's a fiance right now. Um, but fiance husband thing, uh, he is in the sports career and he's trying to become a famous sports star. So I figured they're going to have lots of parties, lots of entertaining, lots of friends over. And so I wanted to give them this outdoor space that was just really, really cool and really fun. And just like, it's not just 
grass in the backyard, you know? I really wanted it to be a really awesome living space. And being that they live in like a desert area, it just makes sense, you know? It's not gonna get snowy and cold really, so it'll just be perfect for them to entertain all year round. Uh, I also do go in and add a pool, heck yes. I, I don't typically add pools into my Sims houses. Um, but yes, look at that. It's just like a nice size little pool, nothing too crazy. I really, this is the biggest size I could really get it um, without deleting part of like the patio and stuff. So I somehow made it work. I don't know how that happened, but I did. <laughs> I don't know how we got here, uh, but yeah. And then I also added the rock uh, like waterfall which I oftentimes don't add either. So this, this house was basically me just adding all kinds of different items I just normally do not use. Uh, and so I added like these vines on it to kind of make it look all cool, I guess, more lived in so it's not just like this giant rock. And then it has like where water comes out of it, of course, it's a waterfall. And your Sims can like play in it or whatever. Uh, I just thought that was a really cool idea. I don't know if I've ever seen anyone use that and like put plants around it. I'm sure someone has. I'm sure that's like a thing. I don't think I created it. <laughs> but I, in the moment, was like, oh, it'd be kind of cool to put plants around. And so then I layered them in and I really like it. I really like it. I also added a little fire pit. I just feel like it just needed it. It was just the perfect little space off to the side of the house where they can go and like roast marshmallows and whatnot. And maybe as the kids get older, they'll change it into more, I don't know, of like a kid's play area or something, or they could add like a slip and slide or something. I don't know. Um, but for now, like I said, they're going to be throwing parties and entertaining to kind of help boost her fiance's career. So it just made sense that they would have a really, really awesome outdoor living space. So yes. And then I added a few chairs so they can lounge next to the pool and all that good stuff. Right. <laughs> and then I carried out the, um, the landscaping into the backyard, of course. So I just used the plants from the front put them in the back. The kind of nice thing about desert landscaping is that it's just so minimalist. It's so simple. You don't really have to worry too much about it looking okay because it's like, oh, it's the desert. Like you don't have high expectations. <laughs> At least I don't, I don't. Um, but yeah, so I just added some more cacti out there and some yucca plants and it's good to go, all good to go. Uh, and then we kind of jump cut a little bit. I decorated, uh, I added, well, not decorated. I added a few items to the cooking area. I don't actually really love it. Uh, I figured as I go on that I can add more stuff. The nice thing about this house is that I don't feel like it has to be 100% complete because my Sims are going to be living in it. I'm going to decorate as I go. So that's really nice to, to feel that way. Whereas if I do like a speed build, I feel like I have to have it 100% perfect for you all to download and that like you don't have to add anything. Um, so yeah. Anyways, here is the second bathroom. Like I said, I'm not going to show you the third cause it's just repetitive. Um, but anyways, we will be hopping into the walkthrough here in a second. So stick around and we will be back. Okay, so here we are at the house. I am honestly so dang excited and uh, I'm just ready to hop in. Let's, I'm gonna show you. Let's go on a little house tour. <laughs> so this is the outside and I originally had said that I just didn't want it too landscaped or like too heavy. Um, and it's not fully like a desert de desert landscape. Um, it is, but there's obviously grass and stuff right here because the biome that we're in or the Mesa Grand World uh, has a bit of sand and 
and grass. So it's not like a pure desert, but I really did want to go with like that desert kind of landscape. Um, anyway, so now we are going to hop on in. I seriously love this house. It's so cute. Okay, so here's the front door. We have like beautiful, beautiful glass doors. Seriously love them so dang much. And you come on, on through into the entryway and you have part of the house. <laughs> uh, and I seriously, I love it. I love it so dang much. Uh, anyway, so I'll show you guys the entryway. Again, little peaks of everything, right? <laughs> so over here, um, is the entryway and we just have like the little side table or like entryway console table whatever you want to call it and we have like our little barn we have a cacti of course or cactus um, and we have like this little bench that I thought would be cute for them to be able to sit down and put shoes on at and like you know get ready to leave out the door uh, and then we have our bookshelf which I absolutely love and then we have our living space with that beautiful beautiful view of the lake and the pool I love this living room. Honestly, like I would live here in real life. <laughs> it has like just the perfect amount of neutrals, but also kind of eclectic and bohemian and modern. So we have like the view of the front door and part of the kitchen from here. And um, this fireplace, this fireplace I absolutely love. Uh, and then you can see like everything else from here. Like look how cute. I love how open concept this house is, but it's not giant it's just like the right right size you know i also love these lamps they're kind of like vintagey rustic looking i totally would have those in a house <laughs> in my house uh, and then over here we have the kitchen and i absolutely love how this all turned out like i said in the speed build i would totally have countertops and cabinets like this with like the natural light wood color with like the concrete tops it's beautiful it's just beautiful i love it so much I'll zoom out just a little bit there. There we go. It's so cute. I seriously am obsessed. I'm obsessed with this house. I'm so excited for my Sims to move in. And I don't know. I just love it. I really, really love it. It has like the right amount of color, the right amount of like neutrals. It's just totally like my type of house. Over here, we have her plant shelf. I told you guys that Coletta loves plants and so do I. So <laughs> uh, this is her plant shelf. Uh, and then over here we have like some storage and then uh, the washer and dryer. Nothing too crazy, of course. Kept it just kind of simple. And then over here we have one of my favorite, favorite areas, which is the playroom, which is going to be perfect once their babies age up into toddlers. It's going to be just the perfect space. I mean, they can be anywhere else in the house and then also still be able to keep an eye on the kids while they're in this little playroom. And then I put like a little chair there so they can sit there if they need to. And I added a little lamp and a plant, of course. We'll come on over into here into Stella's future room when Stella moves in, which is Coletta's mom. Look how cute her room is. I wanted to make it really nice and cozy. She has a cute little dresser right here and a mirror. Uh, and then another side table. And a little chair for her to sit at if she needs to or like to read in. And then just some artwork. I kind of based the color scheme off of this artwork, which I thought was just really pretty. And I feel like Coletta would have lots of really nice artwork in her house because she's an artist. And so that'd be really important to her. Then we have her uh, private little bathroom right here for Stella. And I actually got this whole color scheme, even like the tile and everything, um, idea off of Pinterest. So if you want to follow me on Pinterest, feel free to do so. I have it linked in my description. And it is just super, super awesome. I love pinning ideas on there for um, boards for specific sims for their houses. And then also just for future design stuff when I'm like in a crunch and I'm like, I don't know what I want to do decor wise. I always hop onto my Pinterest. Then we come through here into the nursery. Look how cute look how cute <laughs> i based everything off of this colorful fun rug and it's just kind of like a mixture of different styles and different prints and patterns it's just perfect for you know in a way like a gender neutral nursery there's nothing too specific here we have a beautiful rocker right there and then our cute little orange and white uh, dresser which i absolutely love i use lots of patterns and stuff to kind of just make it more lively and fun uh, and then we head on into the kids' bathroom slash guest bathroom, I guess you could say. Um, and it's super fun as well. There's not any windows in here. So I wanted to make sure it was really light and bright. 
Uh, so we have a really cool bathtub that's like white and then also black enamel. It says uh, on this rug, peachy clean. I just thought that was like a fun touch for a kid's bathroom. And then we have this cute mirror and stuff. And I just use the same counters from the kitchen. I'm like, maybe they just wanted to keep it kind of consistent throughout. And then you come through here into the living space again. Like I said, I just love the size of this living space. It's just like the perfect size. It's not too giant, but it's not too cramped. Like I cannot wait to get my Sims in here. And then we have the master bedroom, which I absolutely, whoops, absolutely love. And I had said in the speed build that I didn't want to over decorate. My Sims are going to be moving into here. So it didn't need to be a hundred percent perfect. I have where I can add stuff as I go along and as they get more money, they'll be able to, you know, decorate a bit more. So I really love how this room turned out a lot more neutral uh, and a lot more calming than the rest of the house, but I really love it. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, and then through here, through this door is the bathroom. And as you can see, I also carried through like this brick into their bedroom, which I also used out in the living space for like texture. Really, really love that. Here's their bathroom, really fun print on the floor again for the tile. And then we did like corrugated, um, walls, which I thought was cool and in like a green color. I've been really obsessed with green lately. We have a shower uh, it's just super cute. It's a cute, cute little bathroom for my Sims to to get ready in and to shower in. I did a little bit different counters um, and cabinets in here. And then kind of based everything off of this photo or like this uh, artwork. And then you head on back through. I seriously like, this is like the cutest little coziest area. I love it so much. <laughs> and then through here is her studio. And I just added in all this artwork. We have the industrial shelving for her art supplies and for just everything. Uh, this is just for her to paint in and we just have some really fun artwork, all kinds of different stuff. We have like a, a little apron there for her to wear while she's painting. And it's just like a cute little studio. I think it's so fun. Like I said, like your Sims don't need a huge master walk-in closet that they don't use. So why not use it for like a little hobby room or something that they can actually truly use. Uh, so that's kind of just the living space right there. Um, that's kind of it for that. And I love it so much. <laughs> Guys, I would seriously live in this house. Is that weird? I think it's kind of weird. Anyway, so we have double doors right here and just a full glass or yeah, full wall of glass, which I absolutely love. And then they have this beautiful view of the lake. I didn't want to put a fence there to like block it or anything. And they have, uh, some chairs that they can lounge in and look out to the lake it's just beautiful, beautiful. Um, so then right here is kind of like the hangout area. Over time, we'll probably add like a little play area for the kids. But since they're just babies right now, it doesn't make sense. We do have another dog bed over there, which I've placed, you know, quite a few throughout. And then over here, we have the pool, which I absolutely love. Like, I love this pool. I normally struggle. Like, I struggle real bad with pools. And um, I don't know, it's being able to actually build them. But this one, like, if you push play... Oh, gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Um, and you go on through here and then here is our like outdoor kitchen. If you want to call it, I guess we have this cute little table and some little condiments and stuff for them to use. And then we just have a ceiling fan. I feel like outdoor spaces need ceiling fans to kind of keep the airflow moving. Um, and then I did like a marble, like a black marble stone. I don't know if it's marble exactly. Uh, but that's what I decided to do for the kitchen, the outdoor, uh, counters and stuff. And they also have cement, uh, or concrete on the top as well. I just really love that th for this house. Um, but yeah, so that's like the little backyard area. And then if you sneak on over to here, like, look how gorgeous. I love this so much. It's so beautiful. I don't know if I've ever loved a sim house this much. And I've never really done this good, I guess, of a, uh, a build, a modern build at least. Over here we have the fire pit. I kind of went with a little bit more uh, like a southwestern vibe for it and some fun colors. I figured it's off to the side of the house. It doesn't need to be overly modern. You wouldn't put your super, super nice modern chairs by the fire because they're going to smell like campfire. So it just kind of made sense to have a little bit more like rustic looking out here. But look at they can have like the fire pit go in in the evening and then look out onto the lake, have some barbecues with friends. Like it's just so perfect. It's so fun. It's so fun. 
Uh, and I honestly just loved building this house. I really did. So that is the tour. Like I said, this house is available for download in both a decorated and non-decorated version. Feel free to go download them if you feel like it. And I honestly, I have not done a fun speed build like this in so long, like seriously so long. So I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're not already subscribed and you would like to be, make sure to click that button. And also make sure to turn on the bell so you can be notified anytime I upload. And just thank you all so much. I seriously appreciate it. And I hope you all enjoyed this really, really fun speed build. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.